Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I wanted to do for probably three years, but I'm stingy and I never want to spend money. So as you can see from the title of the video, we're going to be doing the 23andMe DNA thing. Now I've always been really curious as to what these things are and where my history and my lineage etc comes from. Now I know there's a lot of controversy around all of these, um, especially after watching American Horror Story Season 10 where the genetically pure people were saved when the world entered the apocalypse. I see the worry about um, personal data and all of that, but at the end of the day, everyone has the same ATCG base pairings. Not the same, obviously, but we still have, we have the bases of DNA, you know? So I'm not that fussed because at the end of the day, I'm just gonna be Ash and I live by that motto. So why not? Data wise and like big corporations knowing my DNA, a little bit scary now I say it out loud, but worst thing they can do is kill me and they won't need to if the apocalypse comes. What we're gonna do is today we're gonna order the kit and then I'm gonna do the test however many days later and then I'm gonna pick you up again when the actual results come through because it's gonna be a long process I'm pretty sure it's not very fast. So let me log on to my computer. If you're new here, hi, subscribe, like, like let's shop, shop till we drop when the apocalypse comes. The one I want is the 79 pound one because it does everything I need it to. The main thing I want it to do is read my ancestry report and that's it's available on both and why not go for the cheaper one, you know? There are two things. This can also, this can like affect people if they're thinking of having kids and if they have genetic predispositions to certain things, um, it can lead them to not want to have kids. So I do find that a bit harmful, but my problem with this is, say if I did the more expensive one and I found out that um, I have a, it's in my genetics to get diabetes at say in my in my lifetime. It's in my history, in my, in my family history, or cancer's common, or I don't know Alzheimer's or whatever. I think it would hinder me. I'm quite free in my approach to life now. Um, and I wouldn't really let that bother me, but I think it would obviously put something in your head and you'd constantly be having something to worry about. So I'm going to avoid it, but I see, I don't know, how do you feel? If anyone is, if whoever watches this, what's your opinion on it? Would you want to know? It's the same, it's like the same question about if you knew when you were going to die and when and how, would you want to know? And my answer, I wouldn't know how to answer because if I knew when I would die, I'd constantly be scared of it, but I'd also live life to the fullest. Whereas if I didn't know, I'd just live each day, but I'd always have that curiosity. So there's like swings of roundabouts, it's a bit weird. So it's the same thing for this. Would you want to know that you've got a history of, say, blood pressure, of Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or diabetes? I guess it's helpful to help reduce the risk in the future, but if it's genetic, there's a certain degree you can't control even though you can control the environmental aspect of it philosophical it's a weird question but yeah that's just my take on it so i'm gonna buy the 79 pound one because i'm a cheap skier shall we add free gift wrap gift messaging i'm paying 79 pounds i'm adding gift wrap so let's add a free gift message what should we say hey rochelle learn your true past Let's do something Pretty Little Liars vibes. Reveal the past to learn about the future. The power to rewrite history. Not A minus, A. Nine pounds 99? Shipping? All right, boys and girls, we have placed my order it's processing so that was expensive i didn't expect that bloody 10 pound service fee slash delivery fee to be it's a box like oh is it maybe to send it back or do i have to pay to send it back we'll all find out i shall see you guys when it arrives and i'll walk you through it etc etc or whatever i don't know i'll pick you up when the next thing progresses or the video needs to progress you know Hey besties, we're back. Now my delivery is here. So this is the DNA Ancestry Kit. Oh, I want... <gasps> Reveal the past to learn about the future. Here is the power to rewrite history. A. 
I'm doing this because it's an expensive kit to buy. Ugh, my spit's got the liquid in now. It's all like weird and bubbly and jelly-like. It's weird. Um, because it's a lot of money, I wanted to test it out. But obviously, I'm not going to show you my specifics and my like, details and things like that. I'm not showing you my spit because that's disgusting. I'm just showing you the process because if people want to do it, then they'll know what the, it involves. So, I'm going to do the rest of this and then I'm going to post it off. And then I will pick you up when said results arrive, which I think is nearly a month. So next time you'll see me, I'll probably look completely different. So peace out. Love ya for now. See you soon. The next day. Hello. Welcome back. It's been a long old while since I last filmed. And guess what? Hairdress is open today. Today is the 12th of April. So do you know what I did? I went and got my haircut at lunch. And boy oh boy, I cannot tell you how happy I am. How clean I feel. It's been five months since I got my haircut last. Yeah, that's something. But... I've got my 23andMe results back. I'm gonna go through them. I got them back literally an hour ago. Very excited to see what it says. So, without more waffling, more toast, more eggs, more beans, let's get into it. I think it's the Ancestry Report. Oh. Oh. Do you know what? Oh, what a waste of 99 pounds. If I just listened to my family and listened to what they told me, I would have saved 99 quid. But I thought that somehow my DNA would have come from somewhere unbeknown to me. Somewhere random. I don't know. But here are my results. So, like I said, 99.2% Central Asian, Northern Indian and Pakistani. Uh, which is mostly Gujarati, Patida, uh, Patida. I don't know how to pronounce that. 0.8% South, uh, Southern South Asian. So, re other regions in Southern India. They couldn't find specific locations, but it says South uh, South of in South India and Sri Lanka, which is interesting. The people of Northern India, Pakistan and Central Asia have been shared genetic history, influenced by the southward migration of peoples from Central Asia around 400, no, 4,000 years ago. Gujarati Patida are members of a genetically distinct community of Western India who descend from primarily agricultural and merchant classes. Hmm, interesting. Patel is the most common last name in this community and is related to the name Patida, which means landowner. Now, I did not know that. That I knew, but I didn't know what Patel actually meant, so that's really interesting. Not gonna lie, a little bit disappointed. I was expecting something a little bit more interesting. That's why I'm a bit annoyed because of the cost of it as well. But that was nice to know. I learned one thing. Nothing else to really say about that, but yeah. So that is my genetic history. This video has taken a long, long time to film, but we've got an answer in the end. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. My Instagram and my other social media is linked down below. I shall see you guys in my next video next Tuesday. Till then, take care, stay safe, and I shall see you very soon. Bye.